Hi guys, welcome back to Crave With Me. As always, if you guys haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also to like this video as well as my others. So today we're going to be making some breadfruit tacos. This is a breadfruit for those who don't know. I usually get these anywhere these days, no frills. Um, I got mine at Danfort for anyone that lives in Toronto and some uh, other grocery stores as well. So you want to make sure that your breadfruit that you're using is green. You don't want to use a ripe breadfruit because the tougher the better. I'm going to slice this up. I'm going to peel it first of all. Slice it up into thin pieces enough to make the taco shells and I'll show you guys how I do that. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I peel the breadfruit. I've never actually peeled a non-ripe or non-roasted um, breadfruit so we'll see how this goes. Okay, not bad, not bad. So that's how it looks, guys. All right, you guys, so this is what the bread foot look. Oh, I missed the piece. <laughs> Guys, so this is what the breadfruit looks like once it's been peeled. So now I'm gonna get ready to um, now I'm gonna get started on slicing our breadfruit to make our taco shells. So I'm just gonna slice off this end. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see. Move my camera there. I'm just gonna cut off the slice until we can get good at size pieces. So you want to make it about an eighth, of, uh, an eighth of an inch thick. You don't want to make it too thin. So I'm just going to keep cutting until we can get good sized pieces. This one seems a bit too thick. We'll see. Try again. Alright guys, so this is what it should look like. A little thicker, some pieces are thinner, some pieces are thicker. But this is what the taco shells should look like. Just like this yeah but like this would be perfect so you guys see this one this is how thick you guys would want it to be and I'm gonna show you guys the next step all right guys so I actually shaped out my um, breadfruits into better slices because I didn't like how uneven they were looking it was bothering me so yeah these are the perfect um, slices that you guys want you guys want to be able to like fold them like so See, just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do, guys? I just added, um, I just boiled some water. So now, please, we're going to add some hot water into this bowl. Along with some salt. And what this is going to do, this is going to flavor just a, oh, no. <laughs> Way too much salt. We're gonna have to those out. We don't want salty tacos. All right, so once again, we're gonna add some hot water to this bowl. And what this is going to do, this is going to help season the um, breadfruit. So you just wanna add a little bit of salt. Literally that much, like a pinch. It's just gonna flavor the breadfruit and also it's a little tough, so it's just gonna soften it a little bit. So we're just gonna add them in like so. And I'm only gonna make three. All right, you guys, so the breadfruit's been soaking for two minutes, so now I'm gonna drain the water. All right, so you guys will notice a difference in the breadfruit. See how like it's way more flexible? This is what we want, this is perfect. All right, so now I, what we're going to do, I'm gonna get some paper towel. We're gonna to go back to our cutting board. And now we're going to take the water from out of the breadfruit. So you're just gonna use your paper towel and press down. You guys could see that excess water there. 
see how it's getting wet so you just want to squeeze out as much of that moisture out of the breadfruit as you can All right guys, so once again, here's our, our tacos, our breadfruit tacos that we're about to make. Now, the next step will be, we're going to shape the tacos. So, I have some bamboo, sorry. I have some bamboo skewers here. You can get these at Dollarama, Walmart, anywhere. Um, so these are what are going to help take shape and hold the shape while they're frying in, the, in our pan. So, what you wanna do, so you're gonna shape it like a taco, just like this, right? And then you're going to push the bamboo sticks through the shell, just like that. See? And then you just wanna open it up a little bit so that, so there you go, perfect. See that, guys? Just like that. Now we're gonna move on to the other ones. Once again, just going to shape it out how we want it. Just want to push it through. Take your time. So just like that guys, we have our taco shells ready to fry. So now we're going to get started on frying them, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, you guys, so I have my cast iron pan that I will be using to fry the um, taco shells. So the kind of oil that I will be using to fry them is my um, go-to coconut oil, my virgin coconut oil. I'm gonna use this because it's not only my go-to frying oil, but also it's gonna be giving the taco shells a flavor as well. So you're just gonna add enough just to fry the breadfruits. And then now we're just gonna wait for this to heat up for a few seconds and then we're gonna get started on frying our breadfruits. You don't wanna have your oil too hot because then it's going to burn the breadfruits and then they're gonna dry out and that's not what we want. All right, you guys, so I tested my oil and it's ready to go. So now we're gonna add our shells. We're just gonna add them in bottom down. You want the foundation of the taco shell to set first, then we'll cook the sides. So we're just gonna place it down just like that. Just cut my skewers short like that so that they will all fit. Wishing that it would work. And then now we're gonna add the last taco shell. And as I said guys, don't take your eyes off of these. You wanna make sure to watch them. Perfect. All right guys, and these won't take a long time to cook. As I said, make sure you keep your eye on them. They're going to take probably about a minute on each side, maybe even less. I'm gonna check this one right now. And as you guys can see, it's slowly taking color. So we're just gonna let those continue frying and we'll check on them in a few, in a few seconds. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you guys the bottom of the shells. They're turning a golden brown, and that's exactly what we want. So that indicates that's time to turn the breadfruit, so I'm gonna show you guys. Now we're going to pull out the skewers. Use tongs, guys, I'm just gonna use my hand because that's what I'm used to doing. <laughs> but yeah, you're going to push down the breadfruit. Use your tongs. I'm just gonna use my hand because, you know, that's what I'm used to. And then you're just gonna hold them down. So let me use my tongs for the last one. You're just gonna flip it and you're just gonna hold it down with the tongue and then you're just gonna pull out the skewer just like that all right and we're just gonna make these fry for about a minute and a half on each side and then we'll be right back to flip them for the other side All 
All right, you guys, so I've drained out all the excess oil out of the pan, and now we're gonna get ready to um, cook our ackee. All the breadfruit was cooking, I cut up my fresh vegetables, so here I have, let's focus this for you, here I have some pimento seeds, some crushed pimento seeds, some garlic, onion, scotch bonnet pepper, some tomato, some green onion, as well as some red onion, scallion, and thyme. So we're, we're gonna add all this to our pan, and our pan is already hot, so we're just gonna add this in. We're just gonna cook this down. We're gonna season this with a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of all-purpose seasoning, and then lastly some black pepper. I'm just gonna wait for this to cook down, and then we'll add in our ackee. All right, you guys, so the vegetables are ready. Um, this is the brand of ackee I'll be using. I'm not so fortunate to have fresh ackee on hand because I'm not in Jamaica. I wish I was. Let me focus this, yeah. So I'm using Governor's Choice Jamaican ackee and brine. So I've already um, got rid of the water. And I'm just gonna add this in. And you don't want to mash up the ackee, so you're just going to slowly take your time and just fold everything in. See all those pretty colors, guys? Just like that. Just fold everything in. Alright guys, so this isn't like usual ackee that you just pick off a tree because it's in the can that's already cooked. So you just want to let it sit for about like two, two, five minutes, two to five minutes. Um, and just let it cook, soak up, soak up the flavors of the fresh seasonings that we sauteed, and then it's basically ready. I'm just gonna add a little bit more of my all-purpose seasoning because I wanna season the ackee as well, and then along with some black pepper. And then we're done. And remember, this is a vegan meal, but if you don't want it to be vegan, you can add saltfish. Some people add corned pork. Some people add bacon. Some people add chicken. To each his own. Whatever you want to add, you can add it in. All right, guys. So it's basically ready. Remember, guys, if you haven't already, please make sure you like this video and also subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to ensemble this along with our breadfruit, and I'll show you guys the finishing touches.